Hi, it's us Hi. again <laughs> and it's Julia from Brave Brush Studio, a membership for artists and urban sketches. We're delighted to see you again. And with Christmas just around the corner, we thought we'd record a quick tutorial for you. Something festive, something nice. And fun. And fun, as always. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, there are some Copic markers on Julia's desk. So this is going to be a marker tutorial. Over the last few days and weeks, we've created all sorts of Christmas stuff. Christmas wreath, Christmas balls, Christmas trees, Christmas lettering. Uh, Christmas lettering too, Christmas everything, basically. But there is one thing we haven't drawn yet. A Christmas stocking. So today, a very short video lesson on how to draw a Christmas stocking with markers. Before yes. we move on, just a little reminder to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. And let's go. Yes. Yeah, let's draw a, a very nice um, and colorful Christmas stocking, but a, a quick one. <laughs> um, and this time I'm going to draw with a, um, with a uh, start, start with a graphite pencil. And I draw first two lines. Do I need yeah. to remind you, Julia? To press to on your press, pencil. Yes, to press. I can't see point. anything, to be honest. Okay, now and it's now, better. Yes, mm -hmm. now it's better. Okay, so let's. Now we can draw uh, the shape, the shape of uh, the stopping and. Or maybe I need to draw it a little bit lower. Sometimes things happen and you need to draw it once again. So it's always important to start with the right direction. So this is why I want to draw this line so I know that this will be the direction of the object. The stocking and some Christmas stuff in it. And here I want to have some snow, just a very sweet. Um, and let's draw three berries and some some leaves. Like this, maybe. A small one here and oh, I think that will be good. Also some snow here and we change the shape a little bit then because the snow is a little bit kind of around the, the edge of the leaf. Here we also can add some snow to the berries. Like this. And let's add a candy. Also a very Christmas related object. <laughs> Always nice to draw. And 
here some stripes and some snow like this so i think that's enough <laughs> it's a very sweet and uh, fun one change the line a little bit and then i go over to the um to the fine liner and just draw refine actually the the drawing it's very important to follow the right lines And here we have the snow and I can change some things a little bit if I want to. Some lines. A bunch of snow here. A very nice leaf and here we have a candy. And the last few lines. Like this. And I think it will be nice to add some short lines here. Just to make it a little bit more detailed. And here on the leaf, this one. like this. I think that's a very nice drawing. So far so good. Now we can erase all the lines and start coloring. Okay, and then I start to color with, uh, with my own red colors, and I'm going to use two of them. I start with the lightest one, and I keep a highlight here, like this, and then I just color the whole thing with one color. With a brush pen, uh, with a brush nib, by the way, just because it's my favorite. If you don't have one, you can use any other brush nib. Mm, I think it will be e um, easier to use a, a bigger one, not a bullet point for a bullet brush, for example, not bullet bullet nib. <laughs> Okay, so and here we need to color it quite careful. 
uh, like this, and then I grab the other color, the darker one. And apply the shadows like this. Also here, there will be a darker shadow under the snow. And also here. And I mean, blend it a little bit with each other. And mm, I actually like to use even a dark color for a bit darker shadow here. And just a little bit under the snow. So we have a gradient from three colors. And a darker shadow here. Okay. And I want to make this part a little bit more even so it looks better. Uh, now I need. Uh, let me see a green color for the uh, for the leaves here. And again, I just color the whole leaf and then add a darker color here for the for the shadow. Here is the shadow also darker, and here we have some shadow from the snow. And I think this leaf we can oh let's blend it a little bit first. This leaf will be even more in the shadow because here we have some snow. And blend it a bit. And let's color the last one. And also add a shadow to one side. Oh, maybe a little bit more shadow <laughs> and blend it, blend it a little bit. And add a darker shadow on one side. And blend it again. This is just for adding some more volume. here a highlight and some shadow and 
and also some shadow under them. Very a dark one. And let's soften it a bit. Uh, the red parts of the candy. The same idea. One side is lighter and the other side is darker and here it's darker. The whole part is darker because it's behind the uh, behind the leaf or next to the leaf and there is some shadow from the leaf like this. And now we need to color the snow and I do it with a blue color like this. And uh, let me see. And now I want to add uh, some border to. Here I need some shadow on the, on the candy. And the volume for the, sh for the um, candy. like this and some more shadow and also here and let me see. I also want to add a shadow to this part, to the white part. Like this. And just a little bit to the shadow part. A little bit darker shadow. Always more interesting, more beautiful. And here we also have a shadow on the snow, like this. And we can add, uh, we can apply the second layer, so the shadow will be a little bit darker. And more impressive here. Some more accents, and then I think we're actually done. But the last thing <laughs> I want to add is. Um, um, a few dots just to make it more shiny and more more interesting. Like this. And here, I think it looks <laughs> very fun now. Well, it definitely looks more festive <laughs> with the white shiny dots, right? Um, yeah. It's an interesting effect. Like you wouldn't think it matters that much, but really it does, right? Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so that's all for today. 
We hope you found this video useful and we'll be back soon with a new episode. If you enjoyed our video today, we invite you to check out Brave Brush Studio. It's a membership for amateur artists and urban sketchers, and it's essential for anyone passionate about their art hobby. If you're looking for something to sketch over the Christmas holidays, or you're interested in improving your marker techniques, or maybe it's your New Year's resolution to devote more time to your art hobby, Brave Brushes Studio can help you with that. Go to bravebrushes.com uh, to learn more and sign up. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see you soon. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas, guys. Bye-bye.